another episode of Film Sport here on Tap TV. I am Oza Chukumogazi, your host for today. For those viewing us for the first time, you might be wondering what this show all about. Well, a quick intro to that. Here on Film Sport, we talk about training gyms, educating topics, fashion and lifestyle. For you to be getting notified on every of our drop videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are on all social media platforms on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram, and of course, on Twitter. So today, we'll be talking about divorce. Yes, you heard me right. We'll be talking about divorce. What do you think makes couple, two lovebirds, all of a sudden, fighting for divorce instead of dialogue? Well, we'll be going on a short break. When we return, we'll dive into that. Don't touch that. We'll be right back. Welcome back. So today, like I earlier said, we'll be discussing on the topic divorce. I won't be doing this all alone. Here with me in the studio are my beautiful, elegant, Hello. and of course, independent young ladies. Hey. Ladies, you're welcome Hello. to the show. Thank I'm so you. glad to be here. Thank you. Welcome to the show for today. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Okay. So today we'll be discussing on the topic divorce. What do you think makes couple fight for divorce instead of dialoguing in the marriage. So, Miss Eno, we'd love to hear your view on the topic divorce. Okay. What do you think yeah. divorce is all about? Okay, so um, divorce is actually a formal way in which couples decide to end their marriage mm -hmm. through a legal process. Yeah. Well, that's obviously something that nobody enjoys doing. But then I feel that most people prefer to divorce because of the situation at hand. They prefer to, to actually end the marriage, marriage. Than, than talking it over. Yeah. And um, I feel the reason for things like that could be abuse, infidelity, okay. action, maybe to drinking that your partner that the partner cannot tolerate. Yeah. Yeah, so that that's what I that's the reason I think people prefer to, to fight for the world and to dialogue. Yes. Okay, thank you for the contribution. Thank you. So, Miss Kosi, what do you have to tell us about couples that fight for divorce instead of dialogue? Firstly, um, I'm not in support mm. of divorce, right? Okay. Because I prefer dialogue, like you said, because. Um, for the fact I agreed to marry you, for the fact I agreed to make you my one, like my all oh. in all, <laughs> ha, um, uh, we die here, <laughs> we die in, in the, for better for worse, That's in true. sickness and in health, yeah. in everything, in health, in wealth and in wealth, yeah. not in Porsche. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so in coming to this divorce part, um, okay. I feel that, that, to me, I, I still blame the couples, right? Okay. You being in a relationship, there are things you're supposed to look out for. Mm. The red flags. Yeah. You understand? Mm. You're in a relationship with this person and the person calls you. Maybe you've not been picking the person's call. Maybe something happened. Mm. And the person, all of a sudden, they start shouting. Hey, why didn't you pick my call? This is one, uh, one this of the red flags. You understand? Yeah. Without asking, they what's wrong. Mm. Knowing fully well that you know this type. Like you've not been doing this such thing before, yeah. unless you've been doing it, you understand. Yeah. And also, there are a lot of things in terms of um, being abusive. You understand? Because as I do tell people, if the part, if your partner is not abusive towards you, mm -hmm. I don't think divorce is actually the last case, la last option. To so me, why I don't do you think what so? What if he cheats on you? What why? You why? You in terms of so? cheating on me. In terms of, as long as I don't know one, and okay. he's performing okay. his duty, his, duty, his okay. family duty, and his duty towards me. So what if and you know? Oh, well, okay. Me, I cannot, you cannot carry sickness and give me share. <laughs> <laughs> That's why, I, those are the things, you know, yeah. a man who is faithful is like a turn on to me. Okay. You yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah. Like, and like, make sure you, you get someone that has the fear of God. Is very very it important. Goes, very very important. Man because a god fearing man, no matter what the best you do, and a, a man that is very disciplined, 
because yeah, women are always moved what they say. You yeah. understand? Yeah. So now coming to this, I feel that no matter what happens, you understand? After looking at all this red flag, don't be in a hurry to get I married. Marriage. Because as, as we are now, mm -hmm. we have friends that are getting married. Mm -hmm. This like the the set the stage okay. whereby ah, I want to get married. Yeah. But then, <laughs> it's true. Every woman's dream is to get married, to have yeah, someone they will call their own and all that. But have you ever sit down to ask, are we compatible? Is this what I want for myself? For Am I really ready? Like, this person I'm dating, am I seeing him as a husband material? Yeah. Because marriage is not a joke. That it's is not a joke. joke. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lifetime. It's a lifetime. It's a lifetime. But, it's a but if I imagine, it's, a very, it's the only situation that will give you a lifetime before you even start entering the school. <laughs> That's so true. you need to look out. You understand? You need to look. You, you this one no be baby snap me unaware. Okay. You must be aware before you enter this relationship, uh, this true. marriage. Not baby, I want pizza. In marriage, nothing like baby, pizza. I want pizza. Nothing like pizza. Yeah. That's why I used to tell men. The mistake what men do is they tend to do things that they won't be able to do in marriage. Mm. Every yeah. time you are sending money, you are paying two hundred thousand, hundred thousand. This one. No, forget yeah, about twelve. Right. Yeah. Forget yeah. Opening, opening, yeah. opening the car. Yeah. Why are you getting married? You stop all those things. Too much. We feel that you you stop you, loving us. Or you are now doing that for someone else. Exactly. Yeah. So, so, so that point, you are doing that for someone somebody else. else. So okay. Don't start what you can't finish. Finish. Exactly. exactly. That's the best thing. All right. Thank you, Kosi, for that wonderful contribution. All right. Over to you, Miss Sophie. What do you have to tell us about couples that? still stay in marriage irrespective of finding out that their partner is cheating on them okay i think staying in a marriage when you find out your partner is cheating on you it takes a level of understanding and maturity okay and i have noticed just yesterday i was thinking about this whole divorce issue i've noticed there have been a high rate of divorce in our country exactly Nigeria so are we asking is divorce now a modern thing in life mm. Are we going to be proud that I am divorced? I've achieved something. It's not what? just like a two thing. I am divorced. I'm I'm divorced. I may divorce you. I couldn't take that. I may divorce you. I couldn't take it on me. It was me. Forget me. <laughs> that they made a vow in the altar for better, for worse, and all that. What is happening to us? Forgetting what is better at the altar. Where they invite say so many I know in advanced countries, like in the UK, in the US, yeah. divorce is a normal legal, thing. Yeah. If he does anything wrong, you don't stay to listen, you just say, okay. I'm I'm going. Going. I move on. I move on. It's a me time. Yeah. But here in Nigeria, divorce is not actually our culture. But it's then not. now, but everybody... It's out to be our culture. It's not now to be our culture. Western yeah. tradition. Yeah. Everybody's adopting divorce. Yeah. So sometimes I ask myself a question. How do you draw the line? How do you say, I can no longer take this? What will he do? What will she do that you say, I can no longer take this? I feel like what mostly causes divorce in couples is misunderstanding. Mm, we can't understand ourselves. As Kosi earlier said, let me throw light to what Kosi said. Let mm. me borrow her words. During the courtship period, yeah. I, don't, I don't want to believe that somebody gets married and you have the intention in your mind. You're already, you already have the mindset that I will, I will leave this man. Divorce. I don't think anybody gets Nobody married. Well, maybe some course. people get married. What? I've heard maybe people that don't have... It's true. I've heard conversations, people, people saying, if you if he does yeah. anything, I will leave fight for Okay, divorce. I'm talking about ladies too much. Okay. Even I men, men. Even yeah. men, if she does anything, I will leave her. To me, I don't feel that mindset is correct. This is correct. our marriage. We should yeah. take marriage institution very seriously. Yeah. Exactly. Let's be serious. Exactly. Marriage is not a joke. It's something you have to go into with your clear eyes. Full it's commitment. something you have to be very clear for. Eyes. That's why I say very maturity. Important. Maturity. Yeah, it's an institution that never ends. Maturity it's is the, very important till, till in marriage. It's something you have to be very, very ready for, ready to face the challenges. Because you're going to have challenges. Exactly. You that, are going to see challenges. You have, challenges you have to be marriage. ready. Concerning cheating, concerning cheating, couples stay in marriage after they find out their partner cheats. 
Well, I feel like most women have had to deal with their husband cheating here in Nigeria. Yeah. A lot, a lot. A lot of it's them. not even yeah. a serious thing. It's not, it's, it's like, like normal. normal. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, it, 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 there's it, something, it, I even popular. came across something. Someone said, um, that if you caught me, if you caught my husband cheating, please don't tell me. Okay. I didn't marry, in, in her words, I didn't marry a saint. Okay. And I didn't even plan on marrying a saint. Okay. My husband okay. takes care of me. Okay. Like, can you imagine? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow, ooh, seriously? Okay. There are some people that, you know, there are some couples that are already, like, like you said earlier, Sophie, people that they are already like, they feel like once their partner maybe misbehave or they find their partner cheating, mm -hmm. they fight for divorce. Like that's always their target. Mm. Like that's always is always is in their mind already. That exactly. even if they they caught their partner cheating, they will fight for divorce. And they say that um, the the saying that people always say men are polygamous in nature. Mm. And that's it, what men are using really, to justify yeah, their, what, their, their shitting nation, which is wrong. Polygamous in nature, at the end of the day, wrong. just, just take it that it's, it's normal. Wrong it's, mm -hmm. no, no man is the same. It's very it's, wrong. It's, it's, it's general in all men. I actually had a conversation so, with one of my friends that okay. said, he told me that the way women see love is different from the way a man can see love. That's true. That a man can That's love true. you so much and he sees a girl that has a attractive big ass. Physics, yes, all that. Yeah. And he says, Okay, I just want this one for the night. And he sleeps with her. And, and then he goes and back. Okay. No commitment. No commitment. That's, That's why you used to tell ladies, yeah. you think that um men are easily to get. You can get a man mm -hmm. easily, but you can't get him to submit. Mm -hmm. To commit, I mean. You, it's not possible. Getting a man yeah. to commit, it takes a whole lot. Because men don't like responsibility. Mm -hmm. And when you see the one that takes over his responsibility and all that, you need to ad admire, like, hold on, well, like gold. Most yeah, men don't yeah, like it. Of cheating on you. Hold yeah. on, like gold, my you dear. You still keep on getting... Once you leave, like, another person will. You still <laughs> say you're married. Okay. You're just talking, like, you're being re realistic here, Sha. Yeah, that's true. So, we're going to a quick break. When we return, the show continues. Don't talk. Welcome back. So, still on the topic, divorce. Right now, we'll be discussing on how to handle challenges in marriage instead of fighting for divorce. So, Miss Sophie, what do you have to tell us about how can handle challenges in marriage instead of fighting for divorce? What do you have to tell us about that? Okay, as I earlier stated, challenges in marriage are things that are prone to come. You don't expect everything to be milk and honey, milk and honey. Yeah, honey. yeah. But it mustn't be rosy. Yeah. Not yes, not oh, it will not always be rosy. It yeah, that's be true. Yeah. And now the question to ask, how do we handle, handle these it. challenges? Yeah. One thing everybody should be, one thing as I always say, you must be mature before going into marriage. Okay. You must be emotionally mature, physically mature. Mm -hmm. Financially yeah. mature, <laughs> mentally mature. Yeah, maturity is very, is very important. Okay. There's why I always emphasize on maturity. This I'm sexually mature. Sex. <laughs> yes, no. Yeah. 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 You're going into marriage yeah. because that's, that's true. true. That's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> you are going into marriage. He's not. He's no longer a relationship. Yes, Boyfriend, exactly. girlfriend it's stuff. Like, oh, oh. He's now husband and wife. Yes. Like so that's true. That's um, a good. 
some people still feel that okay that when they are married they can always say no to their husbands when mm. ever they feel like never it, you don't have a choice no no no, no. unless you are safe Wait, 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 but in case yeah, it's but that. don't even try. Well, that's true. Wait, let's that's try. Let's talk that's... about this. Let's talk about this issue. This mature crystal conversation now. Uh-huh. Okay, let me create a scenario. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do I always need to be in the mood? <laughs> you always need to be in the mood. Whether you like it or not, I feel like we are both people. We are couples. Okay. We should have that communication. We should have that thing. Do I want it? Do you want it? Do I want it? It's not an argument. It's not an argument. It's not an argument. If you don't want to try ground, it's not something like just try ground. 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 It's not something like just and you are saying, I'm, no, not, I'm mood. not in the mood. Just don't like, tell me you how. Just don't like, tell me 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 how. Just don't like, even if he comes, she comes back like this and her husband is in the mood. He, he needs it. He even when she's it. still stressed up. Even if she's stressed. You know, that, that is what you get. Like, like seriously? Once you, 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 you come, you come. Yeah, that, that's in a time to come. You know, this is what I'm saying. 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 You know, this is it's another form of abuse, right? It is not abuse. I'm not, I'm not abuse. Right? Because not abuse. I know that will not hurt you. But she knows it. She knows it. But you know, wait, you're not ready. Okay, ladies. No, no, okay, no, no, no. ladies. No, no, no. Let's not play you. You know, wait. I feel like you are trying to look at it from the point of view that she's the man. Yeah, that's my husband. No, no, no. 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 No, I am not. But it is true. Oh, no, 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 I'm talking to myself. You are not talking to no, yourself. No, I am talking to myself. I am tired. I'm talking to myself. Do you know that sex is a responsibility when you're married? It's, it's not a responsibility to some extent. It's not a responsibility. It's not to some extent. To some extent. done with love. That is when it's true. I'm talking to myself. It should be done on a mutual ground. We should not talk my way. And who said? And who said? Now, a friend of mine came me. A friend of mine told me. It sounds somehow. No, excuse me, my love. When I say that it is a responsibility, it sounds like you are being a slave. No, it's when the sexual maturity comes in. Yes, it is your duty to lay on on the bed with your husband. And I'm saying, what are you doing? Let me explain the angle. From. Let me just explain my own angle. Okay, let's okay, I'm a lady. You. I had a stressful day at work. Okay. I had a stressful day with the kids. All right. And my husband comes in and he said, Okay, let's have sex. And he's touching me in sensitive parts. Okay. And I'm like, Okay, I'm really tired. I just want to go to bed and sleep. <laughs> you do it. There there come, there there come. Come. I, just yeah. that yeah. Yeah. I just want to sleep. And you're telling me because he's my husband and I don't want him to you go out. I, I will do it. You know, you know, you know, you know, you this is not how we come here, lady. Do you know? 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 Do it's the this thing happened, she was there. She did no, something. Okay. You know what she did? She had to rob um from yeah. this thing. Just for so the man, the man should have known that. that. Yeah. The condition the condition, 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 the condition,
the, the wife is no, she no, 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 it's not abuse. 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 It's not It's that is where sexual maturity comes in. That's why they say learn marriage be- before you enter into it. Very important. So that you, know you need to be matured. So that in... when you hear things like this, you will not say, Holy Ghost fire. Mm. You will know exactly. that it is a duty. Before you get married, listen to messages from people that are experienced. Exactly. Listen to relationship coaches. So mm. that you will know what to expect. Mm-hmm. So that when it happens, you say, Oh, I heard, I heard. sexual maturity. Exactly. I rest my case though. <laughs> All right, ladies, you you guys are so amazing. Like seriously, yeah. <laughs> Sophie, was yeah, Sophie was actually saying something. Yeah, Sophie was actually saying something before you chip in with the sexual <laughs> maturity. <laughs> All right, so where was I? <laughs> we're talking about challenges. Okay, yeah, we were talking about challenges. How you can handle um. Where a situation whereby you are having issues with your partner mm-hmm. and you need to dialogue. So well, you are saying something. Uh, prone to come in, as I said earlier. Exactly. The thing is for the both of you to be matured, and I feel like um, you should have conversation, communication, very very important. Yeah. You should have conversation before you get married. Yeah, like exactly. this argument you just recently had right now. Mm-hmm. It's very important to have it with your husband. Yes, your it's very important. Don't, don't, yeah. yeah. don't, don't shy away from any form of conversation. Yeah. Don't shy away from financial um. Conversations. Don't mm-hmm. shy away from any kind of conversation. So you know yeah. what you are. You prepare yourself for your marriage. Ahead. Yeah, that's true. Then if challenges come in in this marriage, how do we handle it? I think communication should be a very important tool. Mm. That Even in relationship, communication well. is the bedrock. Right. Is the mm-hmm. most important we foundation. Should, they should also understand that they are two different people. They have their different personalities. Yeah, they have different true. everything. So they should also be understanding. You should be able. You should okay. Let's leave the fact that you have known your partner, and you should know okay. Okay, he did this. Let me just make excuse for the person. You should be ready to make excuses for people. Mm-hmm. That's for instance, true. you get married to a man and you notice he does not flush the toilet. He says we are diving into another topic. No longer the Jesus. If I'm dating someone, first of all, your hygiene. Your hygiene, your hygiene is very very important. How can I come in? Well, I want to use the toilet tank. Oh my <laughs> god, this one is bad. You know, I'm this type of person that even if I'm eating, I remember to discuss it. That's true, that's true. But I'm a man that don't actually know how to flush the toilet. God, I cannot. God, I bet. All right, 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 all advice like what advice you have to give couples that already they are already made up their mind to fight for divorce like what advice do you have for them miss Cosi? what advice do you have to give them firstly they should understand that marriage is um it takes to tango right yeah and they should understand that whatever you're doing in marriage divorce is not an option option yeah and no matter what happens they should always talk it out because I believe yeah. if you call something, if you say that something is important to you, mm-hmm. you treat it as important. That's you understand? true. And the fact that I want, if I, I really want us to be together, I really want this. You understand? Mm-hmm. And nothing there for street is very very important. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Don't don't stay on the street. If you come out like that, they go tear you back about this. Oh yeah. This. Men, you understand? That's true. And also, um, understand that in relationship, in marriage, Rather. one person is not always balanced. Mm-hmm. One person suffers. It's never really. One per- is, no, it's not always balanced. They'll say it's a for this thing. You, uh, someone is going through pain just to sustain it. It's not always balanced. Mm-hmm. So, and also prayer. Because a lot of 
pertains. I'm coming so from important. this uh, religious angle because some persons they don't wish good for you, and they will try to make sure they they send yeah. arrow on confusion all this thing. Yeah. you know the devil doesn't like seeing a good marriage no. he always wants to that's why our pastor always our pastor always wants to our pastor to always say that it's good a family that stays that prays together stays, stays together, together that's true that. exactly yeah. thank you for that wonderful contribution Ms. Kelsey all right Miss Anna what do you have to tell couples that are yes they're about filing for divorce instead of what you have to what advice do you have to tell them Okay, um, I said earlier on that divorce actually depends on the problem that is at hand. So okay. let's say that it is abuse. Let's say that How? is beating you up. You okay, okay. You can actually fall for a divorce. Let's yeah. say that it is infidelity. You can actually yeah. fall for a divorce. Yeah. And then during that period, be it a man or a woman, you need people around you. So mm -hmm. try to be surrender them um, to be surrounded right. with people that love you with people that are interested in helping you grow out of it because divorce is not is not is not exactly. a beautiful experience. Yeah. And then let us imagine that the that the reason why the two partners are thinking mm -hmm. of going for a divorce is based on individual differences or it is based on on the fact that they cannot understand themselves each other. Each other. Hmm. I feel the Things like that could actually mean that the both of them are proud. Okay. So one person has to go down, let the other person sit down. Yeah. Or either way, one the both of them can actually be balanced. It cannot be balanced, yeah. like said, right? So, um, in such a situation, okay, my advice to people out there would always be. Just let go, right? Because pride is actually the reason yeah. for. They say pride goes before a fall. Pride goes. Before a fall, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, be it the man or be it the woman, let mm -hmm. go of pride because if you love somebody, it means that you are submissive to that person. That's it true. It means that you are ready to tolerate whatever that comes oh. into the marriage yeah. or into the relationship. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so, I feel to avoid divorce, just be humble, be submissive, respect your partner. Respect your, your spouse. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Miss Eno, for that wonderful advice. Like she earlier said, pride goes before a fall. We always last together to bring out a good result. So, Miss Sophie, what do you have to tell couples that are fighting for divorce? What advice do you have to tell them? All right, as Eno earlier stated, divorce is a very emotionally draining period. Okay. And really a very difficult period for those that I came as a shock to mm -hmm. even for those that prepare their mind but as far as they have gotten to this stage they are sure they want to separate there's nothing that can be done to repair their marriage that's the mm -hmm. angle I'm coming from okay I feel that if they have children if the couple already have children their children should be the most their priority at this yeah. end, at this point they should make sure they sort for ways to settle, settle amicably. Amicably. Yeah. So they can actually have a good co-parenting procedure for their children because we don't want the children to be affected. You know, mm -hmm. children are most hitting. From yeah, the that's to, true. That's right? true. So we don't want that case. Let them both, even though their parents have separated, let them feel the presence of both their parents. parents. Yeah. Let the couple know find a means to sink. Let them put their differences aside for their children. Because I know whatever makes a couple to separate is an issue. Exactly. So there are differences. Let them put it aside for their children and be able to give their children a good life. So that's my point. I'm actually concerned about the children. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miss Sophie, for that wonderful advice. So as you as you've heard from our ladies here, Divorce should never be an option. Mm -hmm. You always dialogue with your partner mm -hmm. to bring out a good result. Mm -hmm. And always remember, once a couple is filing for divorce and uh, 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 they have children or they have a child, mm -hmm. if there is a child involved in that marriage, it always affects, definitely it always affects the child. So any couple filing for divorce or planning to file a divorce to each other, please, we are begging don't do that divorce should not be an option because 
even the streets if you go out to the streets the streets is not smiling at all everything exactly thank you for staying with us to the end of the show till we meet again same time same station bye, bye. bye.